Ironically, this video I'm trying to sit down and film right now is about the phrase, you don't look blind. But girl, I probably really do right now <laughs> because I put on a red lip, okay? I'm loving the red-pink combo. That's like my fave. I know it's not for everybody, but I love the red-pink combo, okay? So I was trying to do a red lip with my pink bodysuit and I always struggle with my peaks because I've got really sharp points at the top. So I, I have my mom help and she keeps messing it up and laughing. Sorry. <laughs> I said, should I take it off? And she looks at me, laughs some more, and goes, I think it'll be okay. Just give me another minute. I'll see you in Just a second. Just another minute. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Did she I do just, it? She looks at me and goes, <laughs> I think that's good. Not the, like, biggest boost of confidence, okay? That did not sound like it's actually very okay. good, but this might be what we're working with. Let me see. <laughs> Uh, maybe take it off. <laughs> I'm back with a pink on pink look, all right? We nixed the red for today, and uh, I'm finally ready to chat. All right, you don't look blind. This is a phrase I've heard my entire life, often here on the internet, often in real life. I want to talk about it. I don't know if I've ever, like, sat down and explicitly talked about this topic, but even if I have, my relationship with it, like many things, has changed. So I want to talk about it again. I recently made this video where I talked about how my relationship with my self-esteem and self-confidence and the body image and all of that has changed as a blind woman um, over this past year and so has my relationship with this phrase and so I figured I'd update you. Um, check that video out if you haven't already but this I definitely could have talked about while filming that video but I didn't think of it till after I filmed that video so it gets its own dedicated moment. Now, I'm just sharing my perspective, my experience, um, my thoughts on this as like one singular blind human, but if you are also blind or also disabled and you would like to weigh in on this topic, please feel free in the comment section down below. Now, I was born with strabismus, which is more commonly referred to in like as like a slang term, lazy eye. Um, this is where your eyes don't both face the same direction. Um, so my left eye would track normally and my right eye was always kind of doing its own thing and wandering. Um, that was surgically corrected when I was around four years old. Not all people can have it surgically corrected. There is a non-surgical option as well, which is Botox injections that can be used as a treatment for some people. Some people try the surgery multiple times and it just doesn't take. I was somebody who had one surgery, it took right away, and never had issues since they track and they move normally together. Now I do have nystagmus, which I've made videos about Oh geez, on this channel, I mean you guys already know. My eyes shake all the time, 24-7. Mine go in more of a circular motion, more common is left to right or up and down. But when am I ever common? Never. So I've got the rarer one, which is where it goes in more of a circular motion. And that is really the only visible indicator when you look at my eyes that something isn't quite right. That said, not everybody sees it right away. Like some people, it's the first thing they notice when they watch my content. It is the first thing they see when they meet me. Other people, I like have to point it out. And they're like, oh wow, I never noticed that. Like it's, it's quite interesting. Granted, sometimes they're less intense than others. The intensity of my eye movements that are entirely uncontrolled and involuntary really depends on how tired I am, how stressed I am, if I'm sick, if I have a headache, if my eyes are fatigued, so many different things. But yeah, it's one of those just weird things that some people notice it and some people it just isn't as obvious to them. And even people who do notice it, they don't often automatically connect it to blindness, which is fair enough. Like there are people who have nystagmus who have 20-20 vision and drive a car. It isn't necessarily indicative of being blind, um, though lots of us in the blind and visually impaired community do have it. I think when people are referring to this like you don't look blind BS is like this kind of idea that media has perpetuated that blind people's eyes are glossy, hazy, maybe fogged over, gray, that they don't face the same directions, that they don't track normally, that they're different sizes, that 
blind people don't open their eyes, that blind people don't blink, the wearing of the dark sunglasses. Like there's so many things that media has kind of portrayed and per perpetuated that now people expect all blind people to present like. All of those things that I mentioned are true for some blind people. Blindness, as you already know, is such a wide spectrum. And there are people who have no eyes. There are people who have one eye. There are people who choose to have a prosthetic. There are people who choose, like my ex, to not have a prosthetic. There are people whose eyes look like mine and don't shake, like whose look even more stereotypical sighted human eyes, you know? And there are also sighted people whose eyes don't look quote, normal. There are sighted people who have strabismus, whose eyes don't track together. There are sighted people, like I said, who have nystagmus. There is such a variety of eyes in this world and it's frustrating that society has kind of like put it down to like one or the other. Either your eyes, quote, look normal and you are, quote, sighted, or they don't look normal and therefore you are blind. Um, and it's just like these two boxes that we've had and I'm so sick of it. One thing that I especially hate is that my whole life, this you don't look blind phrase has been used to either invalidate my blindness, which is something I in particular get here on the internet, is like, well, you're not blind because you don't look the way I think you're supposed to look, or it's used to like praise me for fitting society's standards of, of beauty or of like, like be looking able-bodied and passing as able-bodied is to be admired in me and to be put on this pedestal of like you're a better blind person because you pass as a sighted person and that is so disgusting and i think it goes back to this thing that i've talked about so many times of disabled people either being pitied or praised this thing about me that has been either used to put me down or to raise me up as like less than or better than and it's really frustrating that this thing I have zero control over that is just simply like how I look is used to like change my self-worth or my worth within society in the eyes of other people. It frustrates me because when as a society we praise people for not looking like they have the disability that they do, you're inherently putting down people who might not present the way that like we think as a society is an able-bodied person's appearance. That's just gross and I hate it. And I've noticed in this past year that I am passing as blind more often. As you guys know, I made this video where I talked about how I had lost more vision and since then it has been on a steady decline. It has not petered off. Um, it hasn't stabilized again. It has just continued to it. And I don't know if or when I will land myself in complete darkness and lose the last bit of light and shadow perception I have. I don't like to think about it. And as I've always said, though the light and shadow perception I have to a sighted person is like nothing. To me, as a blind person, I've learned how to utilize it to the best of my ability to where it's, it's very useful. And the more of it I lose and when and if I eventually lose all of it, it will still heavily impact me and change the way that I navigate and do things. The vision loss I've had in this past year and a half has done just that to the point where I have lost enough vision that it is obvious to people in my life. A number of people have said, I can tell that you have lost more vision just by the way that you move, by the way that you do things, and by the way that your eyes look. And now I don't think it is obvious to my viewers on the internet because you see me in circumstances like this, where I'm sitting down, I'm facing a camera, and I'm talking to it. It's pretty easy to like fake sighted. It's pretty easy to look quote normal when I'm doing this. But people who see me every single day or see me on a regular basis, it is more obvious. And one of those things is that my eyes, I'm losing more of the ability to focus them. Right now in this circumstance where I'm just sitting and looking straight forward, it's pretty easy. On a regular basis when there's not necessarily a thing that I'm trying to direct my eyes towards, they do like bobble around a bit more. They're a little more aimless, if you will. And when I am talking to somebody, I do have to put 
more effort and work into keeping my eyes in the correct direction, looking at their the sound of their voice. And that's something that for many years came easy to me. And whether it's just because of the decreased vision over the past year and a half, or whether it's because of just me aging, being further away from like my younger self who had a lot of vision, I don't know. But if I choose to focus my eyes, it is a choice I have to put more effort in, whereas it used to just be like a normal thing. It was just how it was. At first, I was like, oh no, like people are gonna judge me more because the reality is people judge us every day as disabled people and they take their negative beliefs about disability and place them on us. Again, because I was always like praised for not looking blind as if I had any control over that, it made me feel bad about not passing as much. And that is internalized ableism. Like that is a way in which I struggled with internalized ableism. In the last year, I've completely like thrown that out the door and I'm like, I don't care. Why am I trying to focus my eyes more when I'm talking to people to make them more comfortable about talking to a blind person? Why does that matter to me? Why am I, it already takes so much more effort as a blind person to like do day-to-day -day tasks than it does for able-bodied people. Why am I putting more of my energy into making able-bodied people comfortable about it? That's just a stupid waste of my energy. And for years I had heard, and I remember, I'll never forget it, it, it really pissed me off. And I, I understand now that she was struggling with internalized ableism as well when she said this, but at the time I didn't and it really bothered me. Um, I was working as a television host and all of the hosts were also blind. It was for Accessible Media Inc. AMI which is a, a television station that makes media accessible to disabled people and inclusive and yada yada yada. So I was a host for them and we had a, a dinner with all the other blind hosts, or I was the host, they were all like reporters in the field. We were talking about like how to present ourselves, right? Just normal things like needing to powder down your face because the camera like picks up shine the way any other TV station would expect their employees uh, to do, right? Like that's just working in the media industry. Men, women, we, everybody in between, we all wear makeup. Um, and this one blind reporter who wasn't full-time, she just kind of did things sporadically with the station. She says to one of the reporters um, that he should wear dark sunglasses because it would make sighted viewers more comfortable when looking at him because his eyes, quote, looked blind, which as I said earlier, sighted people's eyes can look the same way at times that blind people's eyes can look. So it's just this whole looks blind, doesn't look blind is BS because it goes both ways. But anyways, it really bothered me that she was essentially telling him the way you look makes sighted people uncomfortable and we should cater to them as if we don't have to do that enough. Like, the world rarely if ever caters to us. So why do we have to do like one more thing to cater to them? But then I grappled with that. Honestly, I did. Like earlier, like, like I said, a year and a half ago when I started noticing that I was putting my energy into trying to fix my eyes better and um, not let them bobble around and wander. And I'm just over that. I don't care. I don't care that the way I am moving within space, quote, looks more blind now than it used to. I am more blind. I lost more vision. It is what it is. And I don't care. And I'm not gonna put more effort and energy than I already do into everyday life to make myself look more sighted. This is just how I look. Whether you think I look sighted or whether you think I look blind, I don't care. It is how I look and I can't control it and I'm not gonna put energy into doing that. Um. And I just want other people, whether you're on the end of being told you do look blind or whether you're on the end of being told you don't look blind, it's all a social construct. It's all BS. None of it matters. You are good enough as you are. If you want to wear the dark sunglasses, let it be because you want to, not because you're doing it to make other people feel more comfortable. Let it be because you need to for light or whatever or protection or any other real reasons to wear them other than making people feel comfortable. If your eyes wander, don't feel the need to fixate them more, to make people comfortable. 
if you don't want to get Botox to straighten your strabismus or you don't want to get surgery to straighten it, then don't. Like, none of it matters. And sighted people who are watching this, please understand that the way that you talk about disabled bodies matters. And whether you're using the way that we physically appear to put us down or to, to put us on a pedestal, it's not appreciated. And I think I speak for every blind or disabled person when I say that when you say things like, you're really pretty for a blind person, or I wouldn't have known you were blind. Wow, I didn't realize blind people could be so attractive. Like any of those statements, like they're not compliments because you're putting down my community who I love and separating me from them for something I can't control. Um, and honestly, what I've come to realize is if anything, the fact that I am quote, looking more blind lately than I used to is helpful. It's really helpful. I used to always talk about how frustrating it was that people never recognized that I was blind when I was out in public because it meant that I constantly had to advocate for myself and I was constantly facing issues of, of like, inaccessibility because people didn't understand that I needed those accommodations. And whilst that still very much happens and still more times than not, I don't get recognized as a blind person more times than I used to, I am. And people are recognizing that. And I'm sure part of that has to do with the fact that um, society is more educated because of social media. We do as a community have more representation. There is more education and awareness around um, disability that is a spectrum that we don't all look a certain way that the media has not authentically portrayed us historically that service dogs come in all different forms like there is so much more of that now thank god so i think that plays a role in people recognizing that i am blind but i do think the fact that you know i'm not navigating as smoothly as i used to that um, my eyes are a little less fixed than they used to be is also a contributing factor of that and honestly i'm grateful for it i'm thankful i'm like wow when people recognize that I'm blind, life's a hell of a lot more easy. So anyways, that's all. Just wanted to sit down and have another Molly Rants, Molly Rambles. And until next time, you can click over here to see that video I mentioned on my self-confidence and self-esteem and how it's changed recently as a blind person. Or you can click over here to check this video out. Love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.